have you ever received an email that had you thinking, is this real life? And I'm not talking one of those, I'm on my deathbed, if you Venmo me $500, I will send you $10 million to your bank account. Not one of those. That email was about an opportunity for us to have our own reality TV show. Today we're finally sharing from start to end everything that happened from that email all the way to shooting the Sizzle Reel episode. I still remember being in the car and getting the email and of course I gasped and I just sat there with my jaw open processing what was happening. Basically, the email said, I am a casting producer for a reality TV show network and your family is exactly what we're looking for. That's Josh's problem. Seriously, I'm driving and she gasps. I'm doing everything in my power not to swerve off the road because I think something terrible has happened. Why do women do that? Side note, if you're wondering what we're doing, I've been wanting one of these since we had three kids and we now have five kids, so I'm actually very excited to get my hands on this. This is huge. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, it might be. Look, let's see. What is that? Oh. Yeah. Alright, so over the next couple weeks we scheduled several Zoom calls where we had interviews with the producers and then a final big Zoom call where they even asked to interview our extended family. At this point it was the holiday season and we were actually having a baby so we kind of expected that we wouldn't hear from them for probably a few months. And that's exactly what happened. A few months passed, we didn't hear any word, and we honestly thought that there was no opportunity. I didn't mind it so much because I think that it was a good opportunity to open our eyes to all the possibilities and that opportunity comes knocking if you're willing to put yourself out there. After a few months, we finally heard back from the casting agency and they told us if we hadn't heard from the network yet, that probably means they went a different direction. We will forever be grateful that we got approached about this opportunity because it truly opened our mind to having our own TV show on YouTube. So we put our heads together and we came up with the idea to create our own docu-series around traveling the US. months go by and we actually buy an RV and no joke one week later we hear back from the production company they told us that they've been keeping tabs on our socials for the past few months and they wanted to revisit the possibility of us shooting a show You would think that we're excited about this opportunity, <laughs> but honestly, it just kind of stressed us out because we had moved on from this opportunity and now it was back in our lap after we purchased an RV to go traveling. It was very stressful. <laughs> so later that week, we jump on a call and they tell us they want to move to the next stage immediately. We were super excited, but we also were like, what does the next stage mean? Because we had no idea. We had no idea what that meant. So I sent a follow-up email to clarify what exactly does the next stage mean? And it basically just meant that we were going to jump on several Zoom calls with the production team to figure out the direction of the show. Essentially, we were going to start shooting a show. It didn't mean that we were getting it, but we were starting the process. Wow. 
So over the next several weeks, we are on the phone with the production company and the director. We're talking over what possible life events could fill the storyline. And just three weeks later, we had an entire production team in our home ready to shoot three 12 hour days of footage. It was a lot, we were so tired. I think getting to experience the behind the scenes of a TV show really opened our eyes to how much work it is. It was truly exhausting. How did you feel about it? Oh my goodness. At the end of the week, I was so tired. It felt like I ran a marathon. <laughs> I think that it was a little harder for me. The only thing that um, was a challenge was when I would say a line naturally and they would ask me to repeat it. It just felt a little bit more forced afterward, even though I had naturally said that. Because they had multiple cameras, sometimes one of them, they didn't have the right lighting or the right angle. So we would say, like, I might be like, babe, you forgot to put sugar in my coffee. And they'd be like, oh no, I missed that. And they'd be like, can you say that again? So I'd have to repeat it. So it's not like the lines were rehearsed, it's more like we said them and we had to say them again. And then it just felt a little different. But I mean, it was still an authentic interaction. For sure. It was just a little bit more rehearsed the second time. I think it was really cool also to see how the crews actually interact with the family. At least in our case, the crew was very kind and generous with our kids and with us. And yeah, we, we really enjoyed getting to know them. We truly enjoyed their time with them, yeah. Anyway, this was a very hard season for us because we just entered a long period of waiting. Post-production, honestly, takes a long time and we knew that they were gonna have to edit and then we didn't even know if we actually had the show. During this season, we felt like we lost our sense of direction, which is really hard for Karen and I who are both driven and goal-oriented. We took some time to slow down. We did some vacation locally to recoup and then we regrouped and planned out what 20 would look like. This was probably our most stressful point of the year because we could feel that we were both very stressed about the unknown, which is not a place that we're very comfortable. And honestly, planning 2023 was really hard because we didn't know whether we would have the show or not. After two months of waiting, we finally reached out to the production company and we let them know that we felt honored and privileged to have been considered for this opportunity, but we could not head into 2023 with no sense of direction. Fortunately, and unfortunately, we did hear back from the production company mid-December, right before the holidays, letting us know that the network ran out of a budget for another family show for 2023, which means we just spent a ton of months waiting for nothing. Yeah, it was a little bit discouraging because we had spent a lot of time, we had put our plans on hold, we had been stressed <laughs> because of this opportunity and it just ended up dissolving into nothing, which we know that this is part of the process. This, this happens all the time and we were prepared for that, but... About two weeks after the news, we decided that we were going to push forward and re-engage with our old plans. And honestly, we were actually really excited. After Very. a couple of days, we were like, hey, this opportunity came, we did everything we could, it didn't work out and that's okay. So that's the story. That's basically why we went silent on social media for several months. We had signed a document with the network saying that we wouldn't share any information pertaining to the show on media sources and social media is kind of our platform. We were kind of paranoid. We were like the last thing we want is to get sued. So we went really silent and we were getting messages saying, what happened to our video? and we'd be like, um, we're considering our options and things like that. And it was very hard for me as someone who's pretty open on social media to all of a sudden we were sharing about this journey and then we went ghost silent. Yeah. And so finally we were like, we need to make a video so people know why we put everything on pause. Well, we didn't get the show. We learned so much through the process and now we have the opportunity to be able to create our own show here on YouTube. Do you remember how during that season we kept being like, is this real life? Like, can you believe? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> like, it was just, it, it, it's just not something that happens every day to have a production company reaching out to you and shooting your life and editing. Yeah. And all the time we're like, I can't believe that this is happening. It's yeah. crazy. So it was very. If you've made it this far, smash like, hit subscribe because the best is yet to come. Let's go home. <laughs>